right, so day one, week one of my Run Disney journey, weight loss journey, and journey to full marathon. And I am walking at Liberty Stadium. That's where the Memphis Tigers play football back behind me. And over here in this area, where all that land and parking is used to be an amusement park called Liberty Land way back in the day. Okay, so I finished my walk. I believe I did a mile and a half. If I didn't mention in the previous clip, that's what it was. It was a mile and a half. Um, but I decided to, you know, it's a beautiful day outside. Great breeze. And I'm just sitting in the car. And I was like, why don't I just use this opportunity to talk about, you know, what inspired me to even be a part of the whole Run Disney community? What inspired me to do races and to run, period. And, um... And technically, it all started in 2012. I was at, living in Florida, doing a Disney college program, and what my roommate, Elizabeth, shout out to Elizabeth, um, she was training while we were down there doing our internship. And I want to say she was training for the Tower of Terror 10 Miler, but I could be wrong, and it could be the Wine and Dine that she was training for, but it was one of those fall races. And she was training for that, and you know seeing her train and seeing those cool medals inspired you know it motivated me it was like oh my gosh you know I didn't even know Disney did races like what the fuck like um you know that whole world was I was oblivious to it and I've been a Disney fan a Disney parks fan for years you know I've been going to the parks like every year since a child or at least every other year doing a cruise lines and stuff like that so the whole run Disney community was like foreign to me and so I was like wow they do races and so I was like I want to do that of course I never even did a 5k in my life at that time so it wasn't until you know my program ended and I was back home in Memphis and I was like you know what I think I want to at least try try one of these Disney races so I did my research I googled run Disney or Disney Marathon I forgot what I googled and the website popped up and I saw that they you know had all these different races and the race that caught my attention was the Tower of Terror 10 miler and the reason it did because the whole theme of it was one Tower of Terror which is my favorite ride ever because the whole Twilight Zone thing you know that's been my thing since I was a kid and so it was my favorite ride and it's centered around the villains, the Disney villains. And I always thought that was, you know, that was the coolest thing. So I was like, let me sign up for that. 10 miles, what could, what could go wrong? Should be a piece of cake. <laughs> Boy, was I hella wrong. Because <laughs> from a fat girl who never ran a day in her life, you know, the most walking she did was in theme parks and amusement parks, stuff like that, you know. I was like... What could go wrong? I was very naive to the whole running thing. And so, um, so yeah, I signed up to our Terror 10 Miler for 2013. So it was the following year. I got the motivation and, insp and I was inspired in 2012, but I signed up for a 2013 race the following year. So, you know, I downloaded the, I researched the whole Jeff Galloway run walk method. I was like, okay, run a little, walk a little. I can do that. And I um, put up the training plan off the website. And, you know, I trained. I did. I trained. But I could have did better. And looking back on it, I could have did a lot better. I I'm be honest. During that training, I slacked a little bit. Once we started getting to the reaching the five, six, seven miles, I was, I started slacking, not going with as much intensity, not pushing myself further. If it was a long run, like let's say, oh, today is five miles, I walked the entire thing and didn't even attempt to do like a run interval. And so I will admit, I was, you know, again naive, underestimated what you know running could do you know a simple 5k some people can't even do that 
And at that time, I couldn't even do that. And I'm trying, my ass trying to do 10 miles around Florida climate. And it's like, you know. So, get down there to the race. Super excited. Villains, Tower of Terror. I'm back at Disney. You know, I was super excited. And the race starts. And I got my momentum. I was like, okay, I'm doing the Jeff Galloway thing, you know, walk a minute, run a minute, walk a minute, run a minute. And then, but um, around mile three, we started approaching. We either was approaching Animal Kingdom or we was at the Animal Kingdom entrance gate. And, but either way, Animal Kingdom was the next stop. And so it was around mile three or after mile three and I felt this sharp, intense pain. It felt like somebody had a knife and was stabbing me in my knee. And I've never felt that. Not in my training. Of course, I didn't really train that hard. But it was like I never felt such intense in my knee. And I was like, I'm not going to finish. I'm not going to make it, you know. That I, knew, I just knew. I was like, I can't do it. At mile three, I was like, I can't do it. And I started to give up and lose hope. And then around mile four is when I was I started to talk myself out of it. I was like, no, no. You can't give up. You worked so hard. You paid this money. You did this travel. You trained. You cannot give up. And at that time... You know, more runners was. There were some runners who were seeing me struggle, cause at this point I was walking with a limp because the sharp pain in my knee, in my left knee, was hurting so bad that I couldn't walk normal. And so some runners was like, "Hey, you're okay." You know, they're checking on me, and then they just start encouraging me. It was like, you know, you can do it. Don't give up. Keep going, and that motivated me to keep pushing. So, after we leave around Animal Kingdom and did that U-turn and turn around, and some of y'all probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about because I'm not very descriptive with distances, but leaving Animal Kingdom, we're still on the highway, and I remember making this sharp turn. That's all I can remember. Like, we see the Animal Kingdom sign, we go through it, then we make this turn. And, uh, you know, we start going towards... ESPN Wild World of Sports Complex and for if for those who did used to run a Tower Terror 10 Maller know about when you get to ESPN and it's that graveled road with the rocks and stuff oh my gosh that shit killed me the pain I felt beforehand on just flat surface pavement was 10 times worse on those rocks but I pushed through it I was like I gotta get through ESPN you know and so what happened was, let's see, so we get there, and so I'm pushing. I'm pushing myself. I'm like, I can do it. I can do it. You know, telling myself I can do this. And we get inside ESPN. We go around the stadium, you know, the baseball stadium, the track field. It was characters out there. I think it was the, like, some Hunted Mansion characters out there. Um, or some grave, it was the grave diggers, the grave diggers from the Halloween parade. They were out there, and I that was like the only care to stop. I took a picture of because I was so scared that I was going to be swept, and I was so scared that the balloon ladies was going to catch up with me that I did not stop for photos. And so, you know, I went there and I took a photo with them, and then I just started running, pushing myself, running, running, running. Get to mile six. Uh, and that's when the balloon ladies passed me and that's when the Meg people on the bikes came the sweepers and I was like I'm not gonna make it I'm not gonna make it so this nice lady on the on one of the bikes one of the sweepers pulled up beside me while I was walking and she was like hey you know I'm supposed to sweep you right now but I'm gonna let you do one more mile let's do one more mile together so we did we did that mile together I made it to mile seven mile seven I'll never forget and I just broke down but I thanked her because she didn't have to do it she could have swept me back in mile six but she said let's do one more mile together so we did mile seven together with she riding beside me and I got on the bus and I cried I felt like a failure I felt like a huge failure and you know you know it happened it was partially my fault I didn't train right, but that was 
that was tough and that was a real low point but um this video is going way too long so what i'm gonna do is stop right here and my battery's about to die i am going to stop right here and the next video i will give you guys part two of my run disney journey where i attempt that wine and dine half marathon in 2015 so peace